Hi, I'm Valeria from Local Aromas in Italy and I'm here with my sister Benedetta because today we're making tonnarelli cacio and pepe, which is one of the four Roman pastas. Tonnarelli cacio e pepe literally translates to this particular kind of pasta, cheese and pepper. It is a super simple recipe because it just calls for two ingredients, but simple does not mean easy. So we're going to show you how to master this to perfection. recipe is water. You put a cold water in a pan to boil and there's a little trick that we like to add. You get uh, pepper grains and you put them in the boiling water and you let it boil for a bit so that all the flavors of the pepper just gently mixes with the water and you, after it boils for a bit you get a you take you, a scoop of the boiling water and you leave it to rest because it doesn't have to be boiling hot, it has to be warm for the second part of the recipe. This at putting the water aside when you make pasta is always, always super important in any dish, but in this dish particularly it's even more important. So then you take a nice bowl and you add in the pecorino cheese. You gradually, and I say gradually because what you are looking to get is a sauce that is not nor too dense nor too liquidy. Mm -hmm. It has to be a thick cream. So you gradually add in the water and you turn and you turn and you turn and you turn. Now, this is the hard way to do it, but since I'm lazy, you can also use a um, one of those immersion blenders mm -hmm. to sort of blend. So you keep adding the water and it's going to blend until you get this delicious, incredible, delicious cream. Grind pepper and then you mix it, you mix it, and then... And you set this aside. When the, the water is already boiling, you get the tonnarelli. May I interrupt you? Yes. No, it's important because you learn by your mistakes. Remember to take the black pepper away from the water before you toss in the pasta. If not, you're going to have these bits of hard pepper inside your mouth. Continue. Thank you. Tonnarelli is a very Roman pasta, great for this recipe. If not, you can use spaghetti, but the kind of pasta you want is a long pasta. Yeah. So you put the, the, the pasta in the boiling water, it boils and you have to strain it al dente. Yes, please. Al dente. And this is the tricky part. You toss it inside and you start turning. If you think you need a little bit more water, you're gonna add it in, a little bit more pecorino cheese. You just want it to be thick, rich, delicious. Last touch, you, grate a, you grind a little bit more, I'm never gonna get this word right. No. You're gonna grind a little bit more pepper and then just enjoy it. Immediately, you need to eat this nice and warm and so simply enjoy your tornarelli, cacio and pepe.